I could show you how to make the right decisions in your separation or divorce. Would that interest you? I thought it might. Hi, my name is Thomas O'Malley. I'm an experienced family lawyer in Durham Region and the GTA. As I discussed in another video, decision fatigue is the true killer of making the right decisions in your separation or divorce. Decision fatigue refers to situations in which you are forced to make life-changing decisions in your life when you're already in a hurried or tired state of mind. And undoubtedly, you must make life-changing decisions to resolve your family law issues. Here are some critical ways to avoid or reduce decision fatigue so that you can make the right decisions in your separation or divorce. First, know your goals before you negotiate anything. You must negotiate with your former spouse to get a good settlement. One really important way to make sure you don't get overwhelmed and give away the farm in your negotiations is to know exactly what you want to achieve. Keep this list with you with your paperwork when you and your lawyer are negotiating a settlement in person, or virtually online, such as using Zoom for negotiating meetings with your former spouse. You must discuss these goals with your lawyer in advance so that you are both approaching the negotiations from the same point of view. Number two, don't get involved with long negotiation sessions. You can only stay fresh and think clearly on important issues for short periods of time. I have found with my clients that two hours is about the limit for negotiating a settlement with their ex-spouse and lawyer. You can negotiate longer that day as long as you take 30 minute breaks or longer so that you can refresh your mind and stay calm. Number three, when you're feeling really pressured to sign a settlement you don't like, don't do it. If you're getting tired and your spouse and their lawyer is putting some serious pressure on you to sign a deal, don't do it. Here's the test. Follow your intuition or gut instinct. If you don't feel that the proposed settlement is right for you and you're getting pressured to sign it, just don't do it. Take some time to discuss your goals with your family lawyer. Then, Send out your own proposal to settle your family law issues to your former spouse or their lawyer. Number four, scheduling your important meetings about your separation and divorce only when you're normally feeling good and you're energized. Most people have parts of the day in which they usually feel better and are more energized. For example, many people are more active and make their best decisions in the morning. Only negotiate and have meetings in the morning when that is the most effective part of the day for you. Number five, take control of your mind. You're much stronger than you realize. You have much greater resources, inner resources in particular, that you can use than you think you do. Start just taking some quiet time in the morning or evening so that you can refresh yourself and recharge your mental batteries. This will pay off with some serious dividends for you when you're making really important life-changing decisions, especially in your separation or divorce. If you have any questions about your separation, divorce, or family law case, and you'd like our help, there's a few ways to contact our office. You can leave a message on my Facebook law office page at O'Malley Family Law. Visit my website at www.CanadianDivorceLegalAdvice.com or call me directly at 905-434-8837. We would be happy to speak to you. Oh, by the way, did you know you can protect your family law rights and get essential information on settling your family law issues with your former spouse with the daily indispensable family law advice and tips at my free Facebook group?
go to Facebook and search Durham Region Separation and Divorce Legal Support Group in the top search bar. You'll find the group and join. Thanks for watching this video and have a great week.